3 a.m. is supposed to be an unholy hour for paranormal activity and even chaos. Take a look at these videos taken at 3 a.m. and tell me if you think they are just urban legends or truly paranormal. Number 9. A YouTuber Named Joe's Paranormal TV Decides to explore a haunted forest in Michigan in the early morning hours. The first thing they notice is how all of the trees look unnatural, like nothing they've ever seen before. In fact, the deeper into the forest they go, the stranger things seem to get. What was that? A metallic clang draws their attention, followed by faint cries in the distance. You hear that? Joe thinks he sees moving shadows and tries to reassure himself that he and his friend are alone in the wilderness. Still, his camera's batteries are draining fast despite being brand new, and now he feels like he's being watched. Joe's equipment starts to malfunction for a moment. It clears up just in time to catch this noise. It's creepy out here, man. It sounded like right up ahead of us here. It's the unmistakable sound of a baby crying. I think that they probably really did hear this, but let me know if you think it's real or edited. Anyway, they eventually find a clearing of slash trees that have been rearranged into strange symbols. Maybe someone in the comments section can tell me if these are pagan symbols or not, and if so, what they mean and what they would be doing here. Eventually, Joe's terror becomes unmanageable, and he flees after he thinks he hears something close by. Strange voices continue to follow Joe and his friend as they make their way out. Number 8. A YouTuber named Bad Choice Noah decides to live up to his name by feeding his huge collection of snakes alone in the dark at 3 a.m. He's hoping to catch something paranormal on video while he's at it, but something almost catches him instead. Here you go, Ricky. Oh, God, I almost just got destroyed by him. The large snake misses its target and nearly peels out of its container onto the floor. Noah is incredibly lucky to have pulled his hand away in time, or the snake would have had that to bite on instead. Number 7. A YouTuber named Sam Goldbach is making a video at the notoriously haunted Roosevelt Hotel in Las Vegas. He gets inside the elevator and takes a 3 a.m. challenge that's supposed to teleport you to a parallel world. In order for this to happen, he has to push the elevator buttons in a special order. Fourth floor, then down to two, then up to six, then back down to two, then you go to the tenth floor, and then when you go to the fifth floor, a girl, or a ghost of a girl, is supposed to enter an elevator with you. You're not supposed to... After that, you go to the 10th floor with the girl and step into a parallel world. As he's trying to do this, the elevator music cuts off at random intervals, and the buttons sometimes don't work. It's hard to say if this happens because the hotel is so old, or if it's genuine paranormal interference. At any rate, Sam completes the sequence and reaches the 5th floor. When no ghost girl comes into the elevator to guide him, he decides to go back to the lobby. And that's when things go wrong. Instead of going to the lobby, the elevator goes the opposite direction and lets Sam off on the 10th floor. He isn't sure if the challenge worked or not, as he walks around the seemingly abandoned floor looking for paranormal apparitions, he's trying to determine if he's really in another dimension or not when something makes him pause. I just heard a door open, but I don't see a door open. He quickly gets on the elevator and heads back to safety. To this day, he isn't sure if the challenge worked or if it was just his nerves getting the best of him. Let me know if you think he successfully crossed over and heard something paranormal. Number 6. 
A YouTuber named I'm Jay Station and his friends decide to take a 3 a.m. stroll down Clinton Road, a 10 mile stretch in New Jersey that's supposedly haunted by phantom trucks and other spirits. A thick fog soon surrounds their car just moments after turning on the road. They eventually come across a bridge that's rumored to be haunted by the spirit of a young boy. If you drop a coin down the bridge, the boy is supposed to return it to you. They decide to test out the theory by dropping a coin off the bridge, and then sure enough, nothing came back. Nothing came back, bro. Does it work? Oh, oh, the coin materializes about 10 feet away from them. It's obvious that they couldn't have dropped the coin themselves because it's nowhere near them, and it couldn't have rolled that far. I guess one of them could have thrown it. Otherwise, it appears that the legend is real. Number 5. A YouTuber named Aldo's World takes an Elmo doll into a haunted playground at 3am to see what happens. Apparently, Elmo is supposed to move by himself during this hour. Aldo's World and his friend put down the doll and start talking about how nothing is likely to happen. When they come back a minute later, they claim the doll has moved. They also say that his face looks a little bit different, though I can't say that I agree. Let me know if you see a change in his facial expression or not. A short while later, they look down again and see that Elmo has repositioned himself once more. Now he is face down. I don't know why they keep taking the camera off of Elmo, so I think it could be fake. But then again, when this happens, it makes me think it could be real. Wasn't he, wait, wasn't he on his, on his stomach? Um, yo, he what's going on? Yo, he was like, what's going on? Let me know if you think this sound happened in real time, or if it was edited in later. Overall, I feel like this video is real though. Number 4. In December of 2017, a YouTuber named Marlin decided to celebrate Christmas by sealing himself inside of an inflatable snow globe overnight. He thought he would be safe surrounded by presents and decorations, but at around 3 a.m., something weird starts to happen. First, his fog machine turns on by itself, blocking his vision with a ghostly mist. He's trying to remember if the fog machine was even plugged in to begin with, when an abrupt audio disturbance interrupts his already scattered thoughts. And this thing... Whoa, do you hear that? It's just creepy and this thing... The sound is followed by random objects falling onto his inflated shelter, and finally, this drops down right in front of him. Um, whoa! Yo! Marlin decides not to wait for anything else to happen and gets out of the ball in a hurry. Let me know if you think that this was just a prank on Christmas or if he experienced something truly paranormal. Number 3. A YouTuber named Jester is trying to test a theory about the Talking Angela app on his phone. Some people say that using the app at 3am unlocks demonic properties and features so he decides to give it a try. At first, the app is just repeating what he says, but after a while, it comes up with an answer seemingly of its own free will. Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Angela, do you know what time it is? You know what time it is? What time is it, Angela? 3 a.m. Oh! Then Angela goes on to give some interesting details about her real identity. Is Angela your real name? I am not Angela. What? I am evil. <laughs> After a while, the app stops saying much else to Jester. Somehow, Angela's eyes go red as if she has been possessed. Let me know if any of these strange occurrences have ever happened to you while using the Talking Angela app and what you were saying to her when it happened. Number 2. Jake Duffner is a YouTuber who took a 3am challenge that left him with a bizarre and unsettling problem he's not sure how to solve. One morning, his girlfriend Ashley woke up covered in random scratches, so Jake set up a camera over their bed and records the following night. This is what comes to visit them early in the morning. A 
An unidentified man stands over the two of them as they sleep. Although the stranger doesn't seem to cause them any harm, Jake is sure that this is the person who scratched Ashley the night before. Obviously, this video could have been staged, and the person dressed in all black could just be a friend of Jake's. However, you can still see the shape of the person's nose through their mask. Some of Jake's fans say that this person's nose doesn't look like it could belong to any of the channel's regulars. If this is true, then maybe this stalker really was a stranger after all. I will say that this video looks like it was shot during the daytime, which is a strong indication that it could be fake, or at least probably not a true 3am challenge. Either way, stalkers are somewhat common, and Jake does happen to be a popular YouTuber. So it would make sense for him to have an unwanted admirer. Let me know if you think someone is living in Jake's home without his knowledge. Before we get to number 1, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. I'm currently doing a super poll on my Instagram. If you believe ghosts are real, then go to my most recent photo and tap the like button. If you don't, DM me saying why. When you're done, come right back to this video to find out the number one entry. Also, follow me on Twitter at YTChills because that's where I post video updates. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new videos I upload every Thursday and Sunday. Number 1 Mo Sargi is exploring an old train station that's supposed to be haunted. A few things happen during this expedition, two of which are so subtle that no one notices. The group keeps saying that they hear a little girl crying, but you can't hear it very well so I won't bother including it here. Still, at around 6 minutes and 50 seconds into the video, they come across very tiny handprints smeared across the window of a train. None of them seem to notice, but if you look closely, you'll see them here. Maybe these prints belong to whoever or whatever was crying earlier. Later, Mo and his friends are joking about a ghost named Tom when suddenly a voice chimes in. Is Tom a girl? I think Tom is here. Is Tom a girl? Many people think that the voice is clearly saying hi. Let me know if you hear it, and whether or not you agree. The three friends eventually trip an alarm and rush off the property, completely unaware of the numerous paranormal encounters they have recorded. Your neighbor could have a dungeon and you'd never know it. It sounds unlikely, but it happens more often than you would think. All of the people on this list were found with a dungeon in their home. Some of them had no idea it was even there, while others were well aware. 